What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the blue color playing as Hades. His name is Miracle. His opponent today in the red color playing as Loki. His name is Garmajuda. The Gaga man himself. Now we haven't seen a whole lot from these guys. This is the uh, Challengers League playoffs uh i believe this is round of 16 i want to say we're not yet in the quarterfinals so i think i've already said it once but just in case we've got some people here who are relatively new uh the way the challenges league playoffs worked was the top four players from each group goes to the playoffs and therefore since there's three groups there were 12 players so four players got buys Eight players play, then eight players play again, and then four players play, and then two players play, and you get the champion of the Challengers League. And due to certain administerial decisions that had to be made, the player who wins Challengers League will be uh, receiving an invite into Champions League next, next season, whenever that is. So keep that in the back of your mind. All righty. So Relics on the map, we do have the monkey head over here. Uh, always a good relic to have. Bit of a forward gold mine here for Garma Judah. He's going to be a little bit unhappy about that one. Miracle might be able to pressure that early here with his Hades. We'll see what he's going to do. This is a bit of a difficult matchup for the Hades player, in my opinion. I do quite like Loki in this matchup. He seems to be a, a, a really, really strong powerhouse against Loki, against Hades, especially on the high hunt maps, as we see a, a very defensive house coming down. Now, for those of you... Uh, you saw a little bit of qualifiers. I don't know if we actually caught any of Garma Judah's games in the group stages, but one thing that Garma Judah does quite well, as is Loki, is he's always playing around defending his town center against a myriad of different things. And what Garma Judah is doing here by putting his houses around his town center is he is planning to play around Earthquake. So Earthquake has a set number of damage. I think it's about 10,000 damage. It might be a little bit less. It might be a little bit more. But if you put a whole bunch of buildings around it, get your Town Center Masons, Town Center's not going to die. And maybe also all your buildings won't die as well because all the HP gets shared. All the damage gets shared. So we see the temple coming up and that's that makes a lot of sense. The one weakness, obviously, for doing this is that now you don't have a Town Center to build farms on. But... As a true Loki player, you should realize you should never be farming. Never farm, never surrender. Or maybe surrender sometimes. I don't know. Temple coming up here for Miracle. He's taking a bit of a slower advance time. It seems not a three minute and two second advance time like he probably could have managed. Instead going for a bit of a later one. No real problems with that though. In this matchup, you don't really need to advance too fast here and put pressure on uh, early. It can be a bit of a, a detrimental thing rather than a strong thing. As we also see, I like this play from Miracle here. He's blocking those, uh, that wall, that, not that wall, it's that hippopotamus there with those pigs nicely. And that that, that causes some, uh, that's actually nice. He gets his, keeps all his villages nice and healthy there as he gets himself the, uh, the, temp, the temple up, going to Athena, 3.30 advance time. No problems there for Seti coming through for... Uh, Garma Judah as well, as he's going to drop his house in. And he's going to start walling up his towers as well. And we'll see how the game is going to continue here. The two arrows also being uncovered. This one's a huge one for the Hades because you get the, uh, not only do you get the 10% bonus on your Toxodes, but 5% on top of that. That's absolutely insane. 5% on top of the the, uh, the Archer, Ballister, Kyra Ballister damage. Well, basically, does this give you 5% on your, on your Heliopolis as well? Is that right? I'll have to wait and see. So now we see this the uh, second age coming through for Miracle. It looks like he is actually going for a fast second town center, which I mean this town center is really, really nice. He's got a back gold mine, he's got the zebra here. It doesn't get any better than this. It doesn't get any better 
than this right here. Town Center coming up. He's going to be able to jump onto these Zebra and have a good time here as well. Meanwhile, we see some units coming across here for Gama Judah. Scout. Scouting around. Checking out what's happening here. As the walls coming up on this position for Gama Judah to just defend his main base here. More houses coming up around this position here. Again, this is just playing around the uh, just playing around the earthquake potentially in the later stages of the game. As Sentinels does get dropped down. I don't like that Sentinel play. By miracle. Sentinels on this town. He's made a bit of a mistake there. He's chopped down that tree, but it didn't take him too long. He must have shift-clicked or something there. As the Hurst are coming in to try and put some uh, a stop to this, as we see the Jason and the Chiron coming out. I love that. That is amazing from Miracle. Why is it amazing? What did he do that's different than every other Hades player? He, he built his Ajax and his Chiron a little bit after the Town Center has come down. So not only does he get out a couple of villages a little bit earlier, he uh, also gets the Town Center down much, much faster. But he is paying for it right now on the hunt over here by not having any, he any heroes here to defend. And he will have to pull back as Hall of Thanes is coming through the Hurst, so chasing him away. If he had the heroes out, he would have been able to defend here. So give and take in a big way as more Hursa are piling across the map here. For Gama Judah, as his Minot as uh, Miracle's Minotaur could definitely get taken out here if uh, if Gama Judah was paying attention to those Hursa. He pulls back into the main base as that Sentinel is going to get involved here. Gama Judah not paying attention. He might be losing, losing some of those Hursa after all is said and done. And in fact, he well, Sentinel shoots again and he hits. And the Hursa stays alive. 12 HP remaining here. Meanwhile, over here, we do see the Ajax pulling back into the main base. Miracle is utilizing these Sentinels quite nicely in this game as the villagers happily on all of this hunt over here as well. As some Relic Monkeys moving in to their deaths here as Miracle is simply just going to get himself Watchtowers, play this game really nice and slow. He doesn't have to do a whole lot here. I think that, that there is a really strong answer that Hades has for Loki which I don't think has been investigated that well in the idea of just getting yourself your heroes out, getting yourself watchtowers out, and going to the heroic age. Now, you do need a lot of resources to make this happen, but instead of wasting your time in the classical age uh, building hoplites and building toxodes, you just go to the heroic age and you can start building capacitors and maybe prodromas if your opponent starts making some raiding cavalry. It could be a great idea to play uh, from the Hades perspective. I wonder what a top-level Loki player would do against that. I guess a second Town Center would normally be coming down here. We still haven't seen that happen from uh, from Gama Judah. So I guess the only other option here for Gama Judah is to go for some sort of a Mythic Age timing here as he pulls back into his main base, healing up those Hursa, checking around, making sure that nothing is uh, nothing is happening here. Villagers on this corner here grabbing the, the elephant. Random troll helping out with that as well. As Miracle now, he is throwing down the armory and a military academy. So Miracle, I feel like this is a, a very, very advanced strategy here for Miracle. Like we don't see it very often and, and it does, it's not like he's stolen it from anyone. It's just, he sees the map, he sees the situation. He's like, I can just go Heroic Age. And he's very right and he should be doing this and we'll see how it's going to go. As the village is now jumping onto the herdables here, does he have himself husbandry? No husbandry just yet. He does have the resources for it, so he should definitely be grabbing it as the villagers are starting to move in here. As we do see the Hursa sneaking through onto this location as the Ajax and Minotaur are just going to pull back here. Watchtowers are up. Sentinel is up. Hursa can't move through. I'd love to see a wall on this position here as the Hursa are going to be able to sneak around and start harassing these villages and it can be a little bit annoying. Uh, Miracle could also put up some ghost buildings here as well if he so chose as the Hursa can't quite get through here. Uh, as the Ajax getting caught out of position ever so slightly. Another military building coming up for Miracle. He still doesn't quite have the food to advance. Is he making some hoplite? He is starting to make some hoplite a little bit too... Uh, too scared here, but Gama Judah, he's doing something a little bit different. Njord is incoming. No, no, uh, no Bragi. He wants the Njord. I'd love to see a temple getting thrown down here then. Put a temple here, delete the home temple. And then, and then you get your mountain giant out. You start harassing this building over here. Uh, Miracles kind of greed to get to that heroic age. He's going to get punished very, very hard here. 
by this heroic age of Gama Judah. But, I mean, what else does he have? You need more units here. You can't really wait on this because your opponent is going to be able to set up. He's got restoration as well. As the army coming over here, they've got a little bit of the spidey senses are tingling here. By miracle as well, he's kind of in position. Where he knows the hearse will have to be over here. As the village is seemingly moving up to grab the elephant. Okay, no spidey senseless tickling, but he's, he's coming up to grab the elephant. As the heroic age hits, those hearse are going to be doing a lot of good damage there with that myth, with that heroic age buff, but he decides to pull back for the time being here. As a marker coming down as well, and Gama Judah, he's not even going for the heroic timing. He's going for what seems to me to be a mythic age. He's got to be going for, for tier here, right? There's no other... I wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine that going through hell, a fast mythic hell, is going to do all too much damage, but a walking woods, Fimble Winter, timing attack here from Gama Judah might be incredibly potent. As Miracle is trying to defend on this position, is Ajax getting taken out over here as it's retreating back. Walls coming up. Miracle, nice and defensive here. He's trying to get himself to the, his own heroic age as well. And we see hell. Gamma Judah is making me look very, very silly at this point with his decisions. We'll see if it's going to work out for him. I mean, he's chucking down a temple here. He's got himself 49 favor. That's one extra fire giant nearly two extra fire giant wait i can't do math yes nearly two extra fire fire giant that he can get no town center up means his economy is very very weak oh, i hate these players if there's one thing that that gets changed and retold and let's be real when we saw age of empires 2 definitive edition come through there were some changes. Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition was not the same as, as HD. But if it is exactly the same game, if there's one thing I want to see changed, is that these walls here, there's some sort of counterplay to it. You can just delete them all. Like, I don't know, something. I just want to see all the walls get killed. I, I hate that this is a thing. <laughs> I just hate it. <laughs> As we see, now Gala Majuda getting to the point where he can get two fire giants out. He needs a lot more gold income to make it work here. As it looks like Gala Majuda, has he just gone pure dwarves? He's got pure dwarves. <laughs> just pure dwarves. We'll see how it's going to go as Gala Majuda pushes through here. There is a heroic age in already for Miracle as the Nidhogg gets dropped down. On the back position over here, the Walking Woods are going to be coming in to take down the town center as well as the units have to retreat back here. We see some Fire Giant moving forward. No Fire Giant being created just yet as the Mountain Giant pushes through. The Walking Woods are going to take this one out. The Nidhogg flying around looking for some villager kills here. And can this work here for uh, Gama Judah or not after all is said and done? As that troll comes in for troll spawn, it means that now we can start seeing some mythic age, potential mythic age spawns, potential uh, obviously heroic age spawns as the Chiron comes through here. And man, Hades Town Center is just so strong, but it looks like it will be ending up going down after all is said and done. The restoration over here does get dropped. The Hursa getting taken down. The Mountain Giant trying to take down some of those military academies here as Miracle's economy is so strong here. Rampage coming through for Gama Judah as he, he basically just needs to put all of his villages on gold here and mass fire giants. I don't see any other way forward here as the Mountain Giant getting taken down on this position. The Nidhogg splash damage so huge to take down those units as Gama Judah here Sends the Fire Giant in and start taking these units down as well. As the trades here going well for Gama Judah, but he just doesn't have the population at this point. Miracle's Town Center has fallen. The Walking Woods chasing the villagers away. As we do see, a Hursa has snuck through onto this position. I wouldn't mind seeing some side builds getting thrown down there by Gama Judah. As one thing that Miracle probably needs to do here is get a fortress up on one of these two gold mines to get to defend against the Nidhogg, causing so many problems here. As Miracle here is struggling to keep up with his production. He's at 80 villages though. 80 villages. And he's, the only problem is that there's some huge technological units coming his way in the Fire Giants at this point. 
as the Nidhogg flies around. Now, one thing I want to say is imagine if instead of these three fire giants, now whether or not three fire giants is better than what I'm about to say or not, that's up to you guys. But instead of those, he had nine Fenris, Fenris wolves at this point. That would be scary here for Miracle. These three fire giants are also equally scary. So we'll have to, like, obviously we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen. You also have to remember that the Fimmer Winter would have done some more damage, but you wouldn't have had the Nidhogg to clean up all of the units the Miracle has made. So it's a very, very big question mark on to what would have actually been better. The other thing is that Garma Judy could have dropped the dock and got a uh, an assistance here out of the Yormadelva. But Garmajud is still managing to push through. He's got so many fire giants here. 42 favor in the bank. Still trying to make himself more fire giants out here. As the uh, as the mountain giant retreating back here. This Chiron needs to get taken out. It's got 29 HP. It's doing too much damage to the Nidhogg here. Well, the big weakness of Hades is that that Chiron, it's, uh, it, while it does have the speed to keep up with the, um, with the, with the Nidhogg, it doesn't have as much damage as, say, Odysseus or... Hippolyta, as more fire giant coming through here, getting some damage done onto this position. The hero is getting taken down here relatively fast as well as Garma Judah takes the score lead in this game. As his fire giant is still mowing down on this position. He still hasn't got himself a second town center, so he's not picking up that economy like you actually really need to do. As we see the fire giant now coming through onto this position to try and take down the town center. The Chiron does come out immediately here as the fire giant spots some villagers here trying to get some kills over onto that position. The splash damage coming through. Achilles about to go down. The Hursa pushing through to try and take out the Chiron as the fire giant on the front here will eventually go down. Uh, though it's getting, it's paying for itself in spades here. As the fortified town centers has come through, I want to see that Nidhogg flying around onto the gold mine here, allowing Miracle that gold income is just too big, or at least send the fire giants around onto that to start taking those villages out. As the Hursa are trading back, Garma Judah here getting himself another fire giant out, but I mean, what else can he do? He's now kind of been stopped. Miracle's at 114 of 140 population. He's still, he's got his farm set up. He's got a market up at the top corner of the map starting to make the donkey caravans. Yes, Garma Judas kill loss is off the chains here, but his economy is so far behind. Look at that damage there as he absolutely smokes the uh, the Toxodes on that position as the Chiron chasing down the Nidhogg here. The Nidhogg is really, really given Garma Judah so much assistance here in this game, but now the Achilles is out. The Ajax is out. The Chiron is out. He's pushing through here nicely to start taking down those fire giants and everything else here. As the Nidhogg retreats back, Garma Judah has to re regroup. He still hasn't found himself any sort of town center or anything like that, so he hasn't gotten any more economy here. Still trying to sit one town center and make this work. As he sends the uh, special attack through, takes down a ton of more units here, but he still has to deal with that Chiron as the Nidhogg, 300 HP remaining. We see the Hursa pushing onto the back here, trying to take out the Chiron here as the Fire Giants getting cleaned up. Looks like the Achilles here, not targeting down the, the Fire Giants any longer as the Chiron retreats back here. As the Hursa is still trying to take that one down. We see Miracle now getting very, very aggressive here, trying to get the town center in the center of the map here. Nice play from Miracle to get that sorted, but can he survive here against these fire giants that are still mowing down villages as the special... So much damage, it's so disgusting. The fire giant is so strong as the Chiron's still slowly chipping away at the Nidhogg. You can utilize archers also. Toxodes are not the worst thing in the world to take down the Nidhogg. Uh, at the very least, they hit the Nidhogg as opposed to, uh, as opposed to the Chiron, which doesn't. As, as opposed to the, the rest of the heroes, which don't. Now we're starting to see some raiding cavalry coming through here, but with no upgrades on the raiding cavalry, Garma Judas not going to be able to fight this. And Miracle, he's just slowly and methodically managed to push out of his base. The Nidhogg still alive with 79 HP. We'll see what he's going to try and do with it. He will be able to find some villages over here and get some damage done, but 79 HP isn't that much. And we do see a curse getting dropped down here as the Toxodes getting pulled back. A couple of dwarves getting hit there as well. And Garma Judah making all of these raiding cavalry out here. Just moving completely away from that tech advantage that he's got with the Fire Giant and the Hursa. 
Obviously, Hursa against the pass, but it's not the best. But moving away from that tech advantage means that Miracle is more than capable of holding on here in this game against the Loki of Gama Judah as he's sending his units around trying to figure out what he can do here. The walls are just up everywhere. And I mean, a dock and a, and a, and a longboat, you can transport your uh, your ships around. We do see the Achilles getting sniped down here nicely by uh, by Gama Judah as Miracle oh, is, doesn't actually kill it off. But Miracle still chasing, not needing to worry all too much about anything here now. Just needs to get to that Mythic Age. Now, remember... The buildings, they look at this. Look at this. Um, this setup here from Gama Judah. If you drop an earthquake on this town center, if it has masons, you hit all of this, and I think the town center lives. I hope. I really hope the miracle goes Artemis. He is, and I hope that he uses the earthquake on the main town center of Gama Judah because I want to see if the town center dies or not. Because I, I like this build, this building placement from uh from Gama Judah. After all is said and done. As it looks like the Nidhogg has now been taken out as its carcass dries into the ground here. Sad, sad state of affairs there to be a dead Nidhogg. Actually looks absolutely sick though. Uh, and then it just disappears. Oh well. Now Artemis is 50% on the way through. 45 seconds remaining. As a town center finally, in the 20th minute of this game, Gama Judah decides to start grabbing it to help out his economy. I think if Gama Judah just chucked a town center down, I don't know, after he'd advanced to the Mythic Age, he'd probably be in a really good position at the moment. He could probably be affording things like Ballister and, uh, and continuing in this game really, really nicely, but... He doesn't even have a hill fort to make Ballister, which makes life very, very tough for himself. As Gama Judah trying to break through here. He's taken a lot of damage by breaking through those walls. Small walls coming up here for Miracle. He is not... He is playing this game with a, with a mission. He's like, you know what? Hades has got strong buildings. I'm going to build strong buildings here. Walls everywhere as the, uh, as the Gama Judah units pushing through here. Going to try and... Hit a raid on this on these gold villages here, but the villagers in the front grabbing all of this, and we do see the earthquake on the hometown center. Town center lives. He loses a couple of houses. But the town center lives, and he doesn't even have masons. He did get fortified town centers, but he doesn't even have masons. That's wild. That's how you defend against this kind of an earthquake. Everyone's like, earthquake's overpowered. Earthquake's too strong. Gamma Judah is here to show you. Norse players, stop whining. Just get good. Gamma Judah has shown you the way. No excuses now. Raiding cavalry. Searching around still. Causing some distraction action here. But the problem is, Gamma Judah, to, to continue in this game, he needs to go into Ballister and Fire Giants and get this town center up. And he's seemingly too far behind because his refusal to get economy going in this game has really been his downfall. He picks off a couple of villages here, but Miracle, he's already got 75 villages, 16 donkey caravans. His economy is set up. He could lose all of these villages and still have more income than Gama Judah. He could lose all of the villages on the front as well and still have more income than Gama Judah. Got a question in the chat from Uru Uzera. What is the upgrade on each age for the Hursa? I believe it's 10%. You get a 10% increase. You can see uh, HP starts at 130, goes up to 52, 10% times 10%, or plus 10%, plus 10%, so plus 30%. I think that's about right. Uh, and you get plus two damage on your uh, Hursa starting at eight. So 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8. So about 10% each age, I think. Might be 15%. I'm not sure. Can't remember. Someone can correct me in the chat. There's a fortress coming up now for Miracle on this position. Going to be looking to try and grab that Ford Town Center as the champion 
units coming through here for Miracle. Garma Dude is still trying to be as annoying as he possibly can. He's making some mountain giants on this position to try and push through and kill a town center. But is that going to be enough here? If the units have already checked it out, there is an Ajax here as well. As more Hursa coming through here to deal with this. Looks now Miracle pushing into the main base as Garma Dude are retreating away with his dwarves. Trying to figure out a place to stand here as the raiding cavalry looking for something to kill as well. Engineers coming through for Miracle as he's just taking this game as... He's playing this as ruthlessly as he possibly can. He is not taking any chances here in this game. Uh, getting himself the fortress, getting himself the Heliopoli, getting himself all his upgrades, buildings coming up all over the place. We do see the hero, uh, the myth units have now come through for Garma Judah. He's going after this town center. We see the hero heroes queued up here to try and defend as... To defend against this, you kind of need to kill off some units on the front here and, and stop production out of all of your military buildings, but that requires too much effort, it seems, for Miracle as he gets his Ajax out to take down the Mountain Giant. The Mountain Giants, do they have their upgrade? They do have their upgrade in Ground and Blood, seeing at 1,400 HP. So we'll see if this Town Center is going to go down as Miracle, he's going to have that Chiron queued up at 99%, but still a difficult thing to take out. As we see the infantry now moving into the main base of Garma due to the town center with 2,000 HP remaining. Could definitely just right-click on that one and take it out. As the village is trying to repair this back up as well, but now Chiron is out. The Psaeus is queued up as well. They're just trying to repair this one. He's got himself uh, Masons. No Architects here at the moment for, for Miracle. He's spending all his resources nicely. As the Achilles coming through here to help out. As we see another mountain giant falling. Town center with 400 HP remaining. As more Herso coming through here. The frost giant getting taken down. And it looks like to me, the town center is going to live another day after all of that investment from Garma Judah. And he does decide to tap out in this game. An interesting try here from Garma Judah. I don't think... Uh, I, I, I think that it could have worked had Garma Judah just got himself a second town center. One of the big advantages of your opponent going for a fast second town center as Norse is you know you're, you've got complete control of the map. So grabbing this town center when he went, or this town center when he went for the Mythic Age, pick that one up, uh, and then just make that push that he made with the Nidhogg and the Fire Giants and everything else. Build, build, be building villages and all the other good stuff. Probably finds himself in a decent position. He probably could have even got four to two town center advantage here after all was said and done. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next game.